Hello everybody and welcome to another Warhorn walkthrough. Today we are going to finish the last part of the nine piece puzzle to find the Warhorn. We are going to go into that huge temple tower uh, that's guarded by those uh, stone men. But first I want to read some scrolls here. First one reads, Protected entrance. I came up with a pretty good idea to get inside. At least when I thought of it, it sounded like a good idea. I sold all the valuables I had, and for the money I earned, I hired a mercenary. I asked him to check what was behind the door of this huge mountain. He managed to get through the stone guards, but he did not come back. I think I'll have to run away from here before someone smells what happened. Okay, so clearly we're not on a huge mountain, so this isn't the location that that scroll is talking about, but that location will be very important in the future. Another one. I've been sitting here for almost four days. It seems that those stone creatures are protecting the entrance. To be honest, I would like to get inside, but I'm guessing that it will not be any safer inside. I will stay here just a few days longer, and we will see. So we have two protected entrances. Of course, the second scroll, he talks about these stone men. So we're going to go down and fight some stone men to get inside, while still keeping in mind that there is a second protected entrance somewhere in a mountain. So I'm not going to run into the thick of all of the stone men. I am going to pick my way around them. They don't really have any different mechanics. They'll just throw rocks at you as well as hit you fairly hard. So I suggest you have some decent armor and weaponry going into this. At this point, I have the whole red armor set. So if you go up the stairs, you will find some chests that you can loot. Unfortunately, that didn't have anything in it. And if we go back down the stairs again, and head around the back of the staircase, we see that there is an entrance. And we're in. So we're just gonna head around the corners, and this thing is mostly full of stone men. I'm hoping I'll find some arrows in here. I forgot to make some before we came in. All right, warriors and stone men, I guess. So let's go to the right. Lots of coins in here. Oh wow, crown armor, okay. The crown chest piece uh, was in here. And we have our first warrior. Who has decided he's going to block all of our attacks. Okay, and we'll head through here where there is more to loot. Rings box, some crystals. The devs recently added some new swords to the game, so I'm uh, wanting to lockpick absolutely everything and try and find these. Uh, here we have common sword three. Uh, red candle, which is worth quite a bit of money. Some crystals, and I'm gonna go ahead and fireball these guys. Alright, that was fairly easy. Why is this not hitting? There we go. Alright, two warriors down. Red chest we already looked at. Lock keys on the uh, lock picks on the table. And off in the room to the right we have even more chests. Need. Alright, so we're gonna continue forward. Oh that snuck up out of nowhere. means we can get the armor perk. Pick up that. Oh, I don't have inventory. Darn it. Okay. 
And we are going to continue. There should be stone men down here. You are dead. Okay, uh, more potions if you need them. We've got lots of skeletons. No one in here though. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take those guys out. Hey! Okay, he thought he was gonna dodge. Um, I'm gonna pop a potion and take one of these. Double life, instant heal. I'll do an instant heal. Alright, we have two stone men. And a skeleton who doesn't look like he's going to come back to life, thankfully. More stone men and warriors. Of course, my bow glitches out. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, stop. And as far as I know, there is no way to break the block mechanic uh, of the mobs. Uh, I wish there was like a shield bash or something, but I don't think... Can't come through the door. Poor guy. He's just gonna have to die. Oh, this guy can come through the door, though. Alright. So, if we creep over here, we find another health rune, which is really important. And another locked chest. Again, uh, let's see. I'm going to drink this rum and then drink the clean water and take a double life potion. Uh, more chests in here. Got some money and a increased resistance by 12 ring, which is way better than my 9%. Resistance ring. I'm just gonna drop my flint because I know I'm not gonna need it. So really, if you were lacking potions before coming in here, you will not be lacking potions now. I mean, there's potions everywhere, so before the final fight, I would definitely stock up if you can. And if you go to the left, we have a little hole we can crawl through. I have to put my sword away, I think to be able to sneak through here. And you will hit jackpot of coin bags and chalices in here if you have enough inventory space to carry them. I'm lucky enough to get a heal rune. Alright, so... Continuing forward. Actually, which way is forward? Alright, so continuing forward, we will crawl through this little hole. Take down the skelly that's in there. Ooh, there's a light rune 3 here, which is 
also very important. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and drink the wine and take it. And we're going to sneak through this little hole in the wall. Tons of feathers if you need to craft arrows. And we will continue. More stone men. Also, another red chest. Another stone man. And now is the time for you to drop anything you don't need and pick up these potions that are here. Because we are about to have a boss fight. Yeah, this is a room full of mages, so that's that's really not fun. Uh, they're too shot for me. so the soldiers oh my gosh he's dodging me what you guys saw that right all right I believe we only have one more skeleton before we hit the boss not sure what the significance of these two stone markers are but here we go Top up my health one more time. And here's the boss. So, here we go. This is called the Black Knight. He walks extremely slowly, so it is easy to avoid him hitting you. And sometimes he has a hard time dodging your runes. I'm just going to run and put the other rune here. Oh, sorry, let me light up the room again. Alright. Uh, once I run out of rune juice, I will start attacking him. Be lagging out. He is pretty beefy, so if you are gonna go the melee route, I suggest you pop a potion. I'll show you what it's like to attack in melee range. He's a pretty tall guy. dodge there. Let me just pop my light rune again. Uh oh. Why can't I attack? Alright, so he hits me for 9 HP points. Um... Not awful. And whoop, he missed. There we have it. So that was the Black Knight. Um, and from him, we get coins, and we also get a black sword which is uh, one of a kind although you can come back and farm it again you can't create a black sword as far as I know all right so now that we've defeated the boss we can come over here we have our last weird note so 
so that's the very last of our weird notes. We also have uh, an image of night hunters walking through a portal with the warhorn in the background, killing islanders. So at this point, we're 100% sure that the warhorn is causing things to walk through portals and kill everyone. And now we get the all important black gloves. All right, so that has been a walkthrough on the last piece of the puzzle. As you can see, we have all nine notes here. And in our next walkthrough, we are going to go on the hunt for the Warhorn, uh, figure out exactly where it is, how to reach it, and see what happens when we do. So I trust that helps. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you all in the next one.